a cab. So no. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Can you guess what I'm about to talk about today? Intertribal and interracial marriages. What are the tips to consider when you're planning an, inter in an intertribal or an interracial marriage? Now, intertribal marriages and interracial marriages can be very, they seem very daunting or they seem very difficult. But it's just because sometimes we don't understand each other's culture. We don't understand what we need to do in order to plan this type of marriages or ceremonies. So I'm just going to share one or two things that I, I've just discovered over time while planning so many intertribal marriages and even interracial marriages just to help us a little bit. The first thing is to understand the culture. I will let you know that you need to sit down with your parents, your families, the elders in the family, and on, explain to them about the culture in each tribe or in each race. What are the taboos? What do they like? What don't they like? What is the good? What is the bad? In some cultures, for example, snails are a delicacy. But in some cultures, they're a big no-no. It's good to understand and know this. Our parents, the elders, as I say, are usually very afraid. Sit down with them, explain to them, let them understand. When they do, tell them that they need to be, they need not be judgmental. They should be fair. They should have an open mind. That is one way, one of the things that you need to consider when planning an intertribal, interracial marriage. Another way is to ensure that you sit and look at how you can compromise on each, on some items. Now, what do I mean? For example, in the Igbo culture, the groom pays for the wedding. And in the Yoruba culture, the bride pays for the wedding. Now, you can imagine if an Igbo groom and a Yoruba bride were getting married in the Nigerian context. So it's very good, actually, to sit down, look at ways that you can compromise, look at ways that you can actually imbibe the culture, imbibe elements of this culture. Do you know that on the day of the wedding, you can actually have some traditional dancers come and do some performances? So that even, even the guests that have come from out of town, they feel like they are part of the wedding. You can take aspects of each culture that you love and imbibe it and it fuels your personality. If you notice, we keep on talking about personality, personality is how to make your wedding your own. Anybody can get married, anybody can have a great wedding by making their wedding their own. Now, legality. You're getting married to someone that is not Nigerian, or you are Nigerian getting married to, for example, you're getting married to an Italian. You need to ensure that you're covered on all sides legally. Whether you're getting married in their country, whether you're getting married in your country, you need to ensure that you are both covered. Because sometimes when we're excited or we're just in love, we forget some of these things. And it's very, very important that we, we never forget it. Another thing to consider is your wardrobe. What are you going to wear? What's the groom going to wear? What's the bride going to wear? Are you going to wear his culture or are you going to wear your culture? So for example, if the, in the tradition of the, of the groom, you have to dress in a particular way. Imagine if you were an ethnic bride in the Nigerian um, environment. So it's always good to know, understand what she, both of you would wear on the day. For example, where we've done weddings where the groom is ethnic, the bride is Yoruba. The bride obviously will come out in the Nigerian culture now, will come out wearing a Yoruba outfit first, and then the groom will wear his ethnic outfit. And then the bride will change to the ethnic outfit in order to, to say that I've come home to you, I'm married to you, and now we are now one. And then they can both decide to actually now wear another outfit. So you need to understand the culture. You need to ensure that you have an open mind. To summarize, and in order for us to be able to see some of these things I've said, one, it's all about you. It's about you, it's about your family, it's about what you want. Sit, sit with your parents. The custom, the culture, the tradition are very important to each family. So be someone that has an open mind, that is ready to embrace the culture, embrace the good and even the bad. You know, because even in your culture, you have the bad, don't forget. So there's no culture that is perfect. And then of course, when it's even an interracial wedding, 
an interracial one. That is, you are leaving your country to go to another country. <laughs> your parents sometimes can be afraid. But once they understand about each of these cultures, they don't get afraid anymore. So don't forget compromise. Don't forget understanding. Don't forget prioritize. Don't forget embracing. Thanks for watching. Catch you on another episode of Funke Says. Ciao. Bye. Hasta la vista, baby.